Hey, a pleasant good evening everybody and Capitals fans. This is going to be a quick video on the Capitals claiming back Axel Johnson Fialbi. And you wonder why the Buffalo Sabres are not a successful franchise. This is our next hockey video. They lose or really give back a forward that actually has been very successful in the AHL and was very successful in the SHL at a young age and mightily successful in his last season in the HHL in the postseason. He only had 10 points in 36 games in the regular season. But take a look at this postseason. 12 points in 19 games, 7 goals, 5 assists. An absolute beast out there. Was killing it in a plus-minus of 8. So he was very good there. And then in the um, on loan to the Hockey House of Venkin League, he had 15 points in 24 games last year, while having 15 points in 31 games with the Hershey Bears. And I had the pleasure of watching Johnson Falby while covering the Phantoms last year. And then while watching the Phantoms a lot through AHL TV, I had a pleasure of watching him a lot. And he's a very nice little player, a very nice AHL player. And maybe you're going to get something. It looks like you can get a little bit of something in the bottom six degree. That's why he was picked in the fifth round out of him. He's only 23 now. As I always say in other videos, I consider your prime age entering years about 24, 25. He's not even there yet. He's a guy that has been steadily developing little by little and getting little by little better each year. This guy looks to have the looks of being someone that can be a nice little late bloomer to be a bottom six forward. And that's why it's incredibly stupid by the Buffalo Sabres to give him right back to the Capitals on the waiver wire. But they did do that. It's a very smart move by the Capitals to pick him back up. He's already ingrained in the locker room down there in Hershey. He's already seen to become one of their nice uh, components of their team, one of the big components of their team, and really played well against the Phantoms last year and stepped up against the bigger opponents last year as well. And that's what you like to see out of a young kid that you think is going to develop and also has a chance to maintain something and get going, at least at the bottom six level in the next level, which is, of course, the NHL, excuse me, for the Washington Capitals. So I think this is a very wise move by the Capitals to reclaim him back. He was their property. They know a lot about him. They're going to develop him into a nice little player, I think, in the bottom six. The Sabres are stupid for getting rid of him, but it's very good for Johnson Fialbi, to be honest, because that's a complete dumpster fire up there. So he's probably praising the Lord that he did get let go and got to go back to the Capitals. But a great move by the Capitals to be able to reclaim him, a very good AHL player that's been steadily developing each year. He was great in the SHL at a young age, particularly in the postseason, of course. And also now is going to be able to get a chance as time goes on eventually in the NHL level. And I'm excited to see what he's able to do. I think he's going to be a nice little bottom six player. So this has been a reaction to Johnson Fialbi having a crazy week going to the Sabres and then coming back to the Capitals all in one swoop of a week. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe down below if you like the content or subscribe on that easy widget up above. Uh, have a nice, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. And enjoy the season, Capitals fans. I'll be doing a season preview for your team coming up soon. And if you want to check out my other season preview, they are in the NHL season preview playlist or just on the channel. If you go into the video section, you can find them as well. Stay safe out there. Again, good move by the Capitals to bring back Johnson Fiabi. Peace out, everybody.